finding was I was an aggressive battle rapper, right? That had like bars. And I was a storyteller of like fantasy, like, like, like the storm, like completely mm. made up scenarios, whether it be a love like story, a movie. like a movie. I had that, but my life was actually hella regular. I didn't sell no drugs. I, you know what I mean? Like, like the, oh, the, yeah, okay. my fa- it was nothing <laughs> like my favorite rappers. You know what I mean? Like, like it was nothing like Jay-Z life looked like. It was nothing mm. like fucking Pac life appeared to be. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing gangster about it. So I had a hard time finding, uh, seeing myself as, as somebody, you know what I mean? That, that, that the lifestyle portion was kind of like, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't know how to talk about my life yeah. in a way that was like, that, that, that people could connect, that with. People could connect yeah. with, or even I could. And then fucking Kanye West happened right before I went to college. In the summer of 2003, before I went to college, the Through the Wire video dropped. And that shit changed my life, first of all. And then I became like a, a massive Kanye fan. Um, and Kanye was the first time that I saw some, I saw myself in somebody damn near where it was like, mm-hmm. oh, wait, this nigga just like made it possible to talk about your life or your regular ass perspective in a way that's like appealing and like in a way that like, you know what I mean? Like this nigga became like my favorite artist at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, so he kind of cracked my mind open. So then when I did jump back in or right before my sophomore year, I didn't know it, but I had developed somehow, maybe developed the an angle. And this was the. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. And yeah, if it wasn't for Kanye West, you wouldn't have the Drakes, the J. Coles, the Big Crits, the Kendricks, the Mac Millers. Because, you know, a lot of artists do come out talking about hustling and selling drugs. And I know where Cole's coming from. I know some of y'all might not relate to what he's saying because if you're under 30, you know, it's probably normal to hear rappers come up without talking about selling drugs. But in my opinion, I think it puts you in a bigger niche when you don't talk about hustling. To be honest with you, I don't think street credibility is necessary. Obviously, back then, you know, it was less common to think that way because everybody felt like they had to project a tougher image. But yeah, if you look at why Eminem so successful, I mean, outside of him being a super skilled lyricist and him being white and most people in America is white, you know, besides that point, a lot of people could relate to what he was saying outside of him talking about killing his mom and doing drugs. And I think that's one of the reasons why the uh, top sellers, you know, whether it's Drake, Cole and Kendrick, I think the reasons they sell so much is they appeal to a mass audience. You know, a lot of people relate to them. But I do understand back then, you know, it was signed upon more if you wasn't a street dude or he sold drugs and things of that nature. I think you win the most if you relate to the average man and what the average man has gone through. But let me know in the comments what y'all think. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.